Hello everyone, this is Marty Hirsch at ChessStars.com. Welcome today to our fantastic Choose Your Moves competition, our unique patented Chess Stars contest. Choose Your Moves is a new type of entertaining and educational chess contest where cheating cannot be done and with fantastic prizes for predicting the moves in a live chess match. And we normally present these contests every Saturday and every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern. And today we have a fantastic matchup. We have Grandmaster Gadir Husseinov from Azerbaijan versus Grandmaster Dr. Bassem Amin from Egypt. Very two very young and very, very strong players. And all you need to do to participate is to join up, which is free, at ChessStars.com. And then just log in at the time of the contest, 3 p.m. Eastern, Saturday, Sunday. And we will follow the action through the eyes of Correspondence Master Michael Hofer. Watch for the prompt that says, click here to compete, and click it. You will be asked for 10 credits, but don't worry, because you get 50 credits free when you sign up, and there are many other ways to get more credits for free. Simply click confirm to join the contest. Every time you join a contest, you will get 100 crowns to play with, and you get 5 more crowns on every move. At this point, you can select the stake for your first prediction. You can choose 5, 25, or 100 crowns on each move. Now, if you get the move wrong, you will lose the stake, but if you get it right, you'll win it back and more. You'll get a bigger stake for a higher... You'll get a bigger reward for a higher stake and a smaller reward for a lower stake. But what happens if you lose all your crowns, you might wonder. Well, actually, that can happen. Because you're going to get five crowns on each and every move, no matter what. And that means you always have something to play with. How will you know what to play? Well, we're going to give you plenty of help. You simply mouse in the moves, by the way. But for education, we have commentary, computer analysis, and also hints on every move to help you decide exactly what to do. Did I say anything about prizes? Well, yes, we have prizes. We have $50 for the best result in each and every game, and five more cash prizes in every game. Even for the worst result, you get $10. Now let's follow along and see how this game de develops. For today's game, we have Chess Stars President Sasha Starr and Correspondence Master Michael Hofer to call the action. Welcome, guys. Thank you, Marty, for the introduction. Uh, hello, Mike. Let's start the game, and uh, what do you think uh, the first move will be? Gadir will play E4, and it will be interesting to see if it'll be a Scotch or Rui Lopez, and if Gadir allows Dr. Amin to play his famous Briar line. Mm -hmm. So it will be a complicated game. And we have two fabulous players. Gadir Gusenov is perhaps uh, the most successful player in contests in the Chess Stars. And um, Dr. Amin is uh, v famous, um, the attacking player. And to see their contest in both games will be a great pleasure for us. Let's get going. Okay, it starts now. Special welcome to Rooney Simonitis and my friend Attila Shakalu for joining us today. Good, good. We have a lot of uh, players who are always participating in the contest. And today we have also some new players. And good luck to everybody. Good to see Yan Lin Chen here, too. Okay. So if all was played, and now we are expecting possibly uh, C5 or E5. E5, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, every opening, whatever Black will play is very dangerous uh, against uh, Gadir Gusenov because he's uh, dangerous with white pieces and uh, he's a very strong attacking player. So, no mercy today. Wow. No mercy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not first a Sicilian Yanlin. I don't think so. Look, the first hint is e6, so the engine considers e6 to be the good move. But e5 was played, and we know what the is going to yeah, do. Yeah, and the question is if he will play his exchange variation or actually go into a regular Rui Lopez. Dr. Amin is one of the best Briar line players in the world. Yeah. Now, when Yuri had that situation, he played the scotch against Dr. Amin. Gadir has played the scotch against me. I don't expect him to do that today, though. Well, Gazir Gusenov is uh, very well uh, knowledgeable and uh, experienced in all type of openings. 
It's hard to suggest what's going to happen here. Bishop b5. Yeah, most likely that's what we are looking at. Do you think he's not going to try scotch today, no? I don't think so, man. Mm -hmm. Gadir's not afraid. <clears throat> yeah, actually, Gadir is uh, very consistent in his opening preferences. And uh, uh, sure, yeah, Bishop b5 is most likely to happen in this game. The hints show Bishop b5 as the first um, move, the first line. Why is he delaying? That always strikes me as weird. I saw Roman do that once, and I asked uh, Bill Lombardi why he took so long. Roman took like an hour on his first move. And uh, Bill Lombardi said, well, maybe he's considering other games he's played against the guy and all that. And I thought, well, I think it's just trying to get a psychological edge. Well, um, obviously, Gajir is trying to take things slowly at his own pace. But you know, uh, the more he thinks, the more he thinks that he, he may not play Bishop B5. Yes, this is very bizarre. I look at the hints. They show Bishop C4 just as uh, strong as uh, Bishop B5. However, it just changed. Bishop B5 is. It's an Arena Barchuk move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, she's here. Hi, Arena. Yes, obviously she's there, she's on the board, doing, as usually, very well. Sasha, what's your take on this? What could he possibly be thinking about? Um, you know, he may think that uh, on bishop b5 he will play, so there are so many choices for black and so on, and he's trying to think maybe he'll get more mileage of other moves. However, bishop b5 was still played, no surprises. Two minutes wasted for nothing. Yeah, but uh, listen, it's just the beginning of the game, and um, yeah, various things can happen. Do you think he will go for Berlin? No. Oh, heck no. Going. No, 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 no. <laughs> now the question is, will Gadir play the exchange variation here, or... Do you think MC does play exchange variation? Oh, uh, hey Nate, mate. Hello, Blotz. Well, first hint is... Uh, no, it's Bishop A4, first hint, and second is Bishop takes C6. I just think the exchange oh. variation gives Black easy equality, and I don't expect Gadir to do that. Yay! Yeah. Good times. Good times. Now, usual move here is, so uh, we all know, knight f6. Correct. And Marion Tudorash is in the lead. Sasha Starr lags 17 behind. Why is this, Sasha? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> now, uh, Michael is in the first place. Michael Hofer is 233 crowns. Marion Tudorash. 233, so they're equal. And I'm behind, and uh, Slavko Popovich, and Eddie Barber is doing well, and Orkan Abdullah. So we have usual suspects. Usual suspects, okay. yes. Yeah. Okay, it's going to be the usual moves until perhaps move nine. Uh, yeah. Okay, um, so what's Gadir is going to play? Usual move? Usual move, Ricky one. Yeah, Gadir likes uh, solid positions with white pieces and uh, methodically prepare. I want to see your briar line really badly today. I think that's the best way to try to beat a guy in a match when you let him play his strength and you take it apart. Yeah, agree. So rook e1 is expected move. Yes, it's done. And now we are looking at... Well, he's got to play b5 or d6 if he doesn't want to lose a pawn, so... Yeah. Awesome. Well, b5 is uh, first line, obviously, and that is played. 
Do you know what light is going to? Yes, I think so. Oh. Even if he will sing for, for 10 minutes, it's still going to be Bishop B3. <laughs> Yeah, and then I think Dr. Amin will be kind and play D6 instead of Castles, just so Gadir knows it's not going to be a marshal. Otherwise, he might not get his prior line. Wait, is, is Gadir, do you think, is, uh, afraid of marshal? Everybody's afraid of the marshal except me and Yuri Solodonichenko. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, Michael. I love the marshal on either side. There's still, like Yuri said in the lecture, there's still things that have not been exposed to the general public. Remember that, right? Yeah. And the, thank you, good, thank you, Doctor. I mean, now Gadir can safely play C3. And then the question is, after Doctor Amin castles, will Gadir let him play a briar line with H3, or will Gadir play his D4 as he has before? I don't like that D4 line, but Gadir seems to like it. <clears throat> so there are some other moves considered to be d3, which is a slow build up, mm. and h3, which was played a few times, as you know. There we go. So c3 was played, right. obvious, no news, good news. Yeah, this is going to be very exciting. So far, we are all in main moves, theory. Now, usual move is H3. Yeah, and Gadir's usual move is D4. Yes, D4 is so playable too. And he did it. He did it. Yeah. And the main line now is Bishop G4. Yep. Yeah. I'm very disappointed. <sighs> Uh, we wanted to see Marshall, but... No, no, I want to see a Briar line. Mm. Yeah, maybe Gadir decided not to allow Briar line. Yeah, yeah, he just said that the guy is too good at it. And, uh... I would have gone after him. <laughs> well, in the meantime, Michael, you're in the lead, 586 rounds. Leon 502. Orkan Abdullah, 474. Marian Tudarachi, 457. Peter Murray, 431 grounds. Followed by Sasha Star, Milan Kovalevich, and Blas Kosmich. Jan Lund, what do you mean, same as your game exact? Okay. He's going to take, by the way. Yeah, most definitely. Yanlin has uh, a chance at nationals in a couple of weeks. Third grade. He's oh, working yeah. hard. All right. And Stockfish is correct with knight a5. This is all normal stuff. Bishop c2, c5. I feel like this is stealing. Wow. Okay, so we are in the first line, it's round. So knight b to d2. No, 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 he's oh. going to play bishop c2. And then uh, c5, and then we have another fork in the road between h3 and knight bd2. Okay, so now... Uh, we're expecting possibly c5. Not possibly, it's happening. <laughs> yes, done. No, I don't know. Um, uh, uh, all right, then. I think Gadir might kick, but the knight bd2 is the main line. <clears throat> yeah. D take c5 is a little flaky. I was right. Wow. I should have put 100 on every single move today. <laughs> you don't? 
No, that one I backed off on, and I backed off on d4. Bishop h5 for sure. Yeah. And then Gadir will chase him. You think I can obey g4? Duh. No, I don't think so. Oh, really? Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Oh, there's some kings, uh, knight b2, d2, knight c3 now. Hint and of course, Schmitz. g4. g4 is playable for sure. Hence Schmitz. He's playing g4. I hate it when I'm right. Hey, um, hey you g4. know what? Black's going to play bishop g6. Oh, yeah. Agree. <laughs> Agree. No doubt about that. This is an Emil Sotowski game. Emil won against Bachman. Bachman Turner Overdrive. Mm -hmm. Your knowledge of music is uh, amazing, Sasha. Yeah, I always respect people who have knowledge of music. Well, yours is amazing. I test you, and you know everything, man. And your knowledge of openings. Now, if you only got chess base, you could be very dangerous. <laughs> yeah, one day I'm definitely glad that. Okay, so what's now? Rookie 8. Yeah, looks like it's the strongest, far the strongest team. Oh my god, Orkin's creeping up on me. And Motsi. And Yuri, oh no. This is going to be a tough contest. Well, uh, Masi Leon is not too far uh, behind. Yeah. And Orkan is in third place. Oh, wow. We have a, we have a, a new move here from Dr. Amin. Yep. Probably a transposition. I think Kadir might play D5 anyway, and then Rook E8, so... Thanks a lot, Dr. Amin, for costing me crowns. <laughs> <laughs> Marion Tudorash. Very close. Yo, look at this. Uh, you're in first place, and D5 was in deep play. Imagine yeah. that. Now, there is a fork in the road here. You could go Ricky 8 or Bishop F6. That's a good question. All right. The first thing is H6, though. I don't understand why. Now, why I, I think he's going to go Bishop F6 since he varied with the Ricky 8 thing. Although Murray Chandler Abramovich went Ricky 8 and Abramovich won in 1983, but that was ancient times. Oh, yeah. So, Amin might have done this to avoid preparation by Gadir. Probably so. And now, Rook B1. Your favorite move of Jeffrey Zhang. <laughs> we played this against Brown November 18th, 2016. That's where we're at. Oh, well. So, rook b1 is natural move here. Now, according to Hintz, white doesn't have an advantage in this position. It's like considered to be equal. Yeah, I know. Um, but white has won a really high percentage of the time in the database. So, so much for Silicon Beasts. Sako and Mickey Adams had this, and uh, was it was a draw in 2007. There's uh, 19 games in the database only. And let's go with Rook 8 Yeah, Rook 8 is almost begging to be played. God, Marion, get off me, man. <laughs> Wait, it's just the beginning. You these know, guys are tough, it. man. This is the, These guys are the best in the world. And we do this every week. It's fun. Okay, and um, now we're expecting... Okay, first thing is knight h2. Wow. Yeah, I like knight h2. I also like h4. Um, wow. I have no idea what Gadir will do here. 
What's Gadir's style? 92, I don't know if that's Gadir. Yeah, B3 is, more, is very unlikely to be played. Not, it's not Gadir's move. Ah, man, this is dangerous. This is going to determine the lead. Hi, Rooney. He's it's good to see you here, buddy. Really glad you joined us. Rooney's in New York City. Arunus Simonitis. Yes. How is he doing so far? I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's not on the board, so it's hard to say. However, you're in the lead, and Marian Vidarachi is second. Eddie Barber is in third place now. Marcy Leon in fourth. Orkan Abdulov is in fifth, followed by Sasha Star, Slavka Popovich, and Blas Kosmach. Yeah, I gotta enjoy the lead while I can here. This is this is a dicey position now. For you, the best thing what could have happened is if they would agree to a draw right now. Yeah, well, that's not happening though. <laughs> Both these yep. guys want blood. Yes. Yeah, Gajir is playing with white pieces. Obviously, he will try to win this game. There's no doubt about that. Now, what are the choices beside knight h2, which is very natural? Move? All right, you want to know the database moves? h4 four times, knight h2 three times, bishop f4 three times, and king g2 once. So h4 is uh, the move here. Do you think, yeah? Oh, it's been played a lot, but Jeffrey Zhang and Sako played knight h2 here. I have a feeling Gadir's on his own here. Yuri says King G2 and he's speaking in Russian. Mm-hmm. Privet. Privet. Right. Oh, Yuri put um, uh, crowns on King G2. Wow. That's yeah, that was played by Kokorev against Alisenko in 2016 and Kokorev won. Kokorev, 26-24 player. Gadir's not on his own? Really, you're helping him, Eddie? <laughs> if he's not on his own, then what is he? What's happening? Well, we covered this line. All right, Eddie, will then let us in? You know, there's been enough time. Yay! Yes. Booyah! 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 I love it. Okay, my sorry, I got so excited. You know, I'm that's... happy I, I, I channeled my inner good deer on that one. Really happy. Wow, I'm a little bit surprised I got that right. Okay, H6 for sure. Yeah, it must be played. Well, I am thrilled that I got that right. And Arena Barchuk. Yeah. The reason I mentioned the uh, Bishop C4 is your opening arena is because um, one of my students played uh, Pinheiro in the Master Challenge yesterday, and it followed one of your games from the World Under uh, 20 Championship when you played King G1 and won the game. King G1 and you won the game. I, that was an awesome game, Arena. Yeah, you see, Arena is very consistent in her results. Uh, contests do extremely well most of the times. And she's consistent playing the guitar very well. Yeah, that helps too. It's funny how many um, strong players like Sasha Starr also excel at an instrument. I don't know if Gadir does, so I'll have to ask him. Uh, maybe he plays uh, balalaika? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like Dr. Zvako. Can she play the balalaika? <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. Yeah, yeah, it's an epic movie, for sure. So you think uh, Dr. Bassam Amin is not going to take on H4? Probably not. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Especially against Gadir Gusinov. Yeah, it's like if Fisher played a move like that against me, I wouldn't even think about it. Um, yeah, the problem is G5 causes some uh, severe uh, problems for... That would be terrible for black. No. No. Yeah. That's funny, though. It looks like uh, Bassem is actually thinking. It looks like uh, he didn't expect that move. So, uh, just so I can say this while it lasts, I've got almost double the crowns of Raina Barchuk before she catches me. I think Raina Barchuk on your tail is always dangerous. She's great at coming from second place. Yeah, it happened quite a few times. So I don't think I should play it safe. I think I need to keep swinging with the 100 crowns. I know possibly it's a good strategy 
since uh, you're in the lead, even if you lose uh, a couple of times here and there, right. you'll still be in a good position to increase your lead if you're right. Now, my friend Nainad uh, throws around crowns like they're manhole covers, and that's why uh, he doesn't win as often as he could. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good observation. Well, Sasha Starr has no fear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is What's he thinking about? To... Seriously? Wow. Advantage Gadir that he's that black is having to think here. Wow. I guess he's choosing between H6 and H5. Yeah. Um, I like more H6 because with H5 you give up uh, on G5 um, square and um, it's probably more difficult to defend. Well, yeah. database four for four, h six, and then Iota played g five. Uh, Martin Clemente played bishop h five, and they agreed to a draw. I'm down with that. I, I, that mm -hmm. sounds great to me. <laughs> In fact, all four <laughs> games drew. <laughs> yeah, let's make it an early date, but Gadir's not going to do that. Well, um, Dr. Amin has some extra time, so he's uh, using it now. Yeah, he sure is. He still has over 24 minutes, so he can definitely take a thing of what to do, what to play. All right, Eddie, what instrument do you play? And Jan Lin, what instrument do you play? Go ahead and brag, guys. Yeah, they can write, and uh, you will announce. Yeah, because I have a feeling Dr. Mean's going to take a little more time here. Yeah. And you ever, ever replace tuba? Yeah. Guitar, well done, Eddie. Guitar, yes, yeah, that's for sure. Thirty-five years. You must be old, then, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've known you for thirty-five years. <laughs> Maybe started when he was five years old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Jalen Chen, piano and violin. Yeah, very okay. good. Very good. Yeah, he's a very talented guy. Oh, that's for sure. Nobody plays like, the balalaika. No. Anybody in the audience play the balalaika? There's got to be one. Oh, I wish somebody would play. Yeah. Uh, it would be interesting, actually, to put somebody on the air to play uh, a couple of minutes on uh, balalaika. Yeah, while well, we're waiting for Dr. Amin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody, that, that's excellent, Eddie. Nobody plays drums here? Oh, that would be Rishi's brother, Vishnu. You've met Vishnu. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I did. Rishi plays violin and uh, Vishnu plays drums. What can I say? <laughs> orchestra here. This uh, drums, balalaika, violin, <laughs> yeah. guitar. The chess stars orchestra. Yep. <laughs> and on grand piano, the great Sasha Star. Yeah, thank you. Sure, I'll, I'll help any way I can. Somebody so might need to help Basem here on what he's going to do. Dude, this is like box. According to this, uh, Stockfish, H5 is bad. So. Yeah, Stockfish prefers definitely H6 to H5. And um, the third distant move is uh, Bishop takes H4. Wow, so Arena also put 25 on H4. If I'd have gone 100, I could have robbed her of crowns. Wow. <laughs> I just wasn't sure at all about that move. So actually, I thought it took guts to put 25 in Arena. You know, mad props to you. Last time I had a female wow. behind me like this when I had a big lead, it was, it was Lexi Dimitrievich, and she got me at the end. Mm. I'm not comfortable. No, this is dangerous. <laughs> But your luck is that Irina didn't put 100 crowns on Yeah, this. yeah that's a good point. That's a good she point. She would drop all the, all the crowns. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe it's not so bad for you, after all. Well, uh, he's still spending his time now. Now he's uh, behind Gadir on time. Not a good thing. Mm -hmm. That's not a guy you want to be behind the clock on. What a great match we had. Yeah. Unisky. Oh, H5. And look at this. Ismail Vidal won 
It's when you find. Ah! Oh my God! Akashi, well wow, done. good job, Ishmael. We have left book. We are on our own. Oh my God! This is fantastic choice. Well done. Congratulations. Yeah. Choose the losing move and win. Sometimes that happens. Yeah. Well, Gadir will not hesitate. And then where's the bishop going? E5 or E7? Good question. Well, uh, if he wants to defend, he's uh, going to go to E7 and maybe drop back to uh, F8, but I don't know if that works. In fact, I have my severe doubts about that. No, no, Black's in big trouble now. Bad choice by Dr. Amin. Good choice by Gadir playing H4. But the big winner in this situation is uh, Ismail Vidal. He picked up quite a lot of crowns. 2585. Wow. Eddie, is this the line you went over? I don't think so. <laughs> Where's he going to go with the bishop after g5? That's a really good question to me. You know, he goes to e5, he's dead in the dark squares, although the dark squares are sealed off. Oh, man. Wow. No, he... Be ah, man, this is not a good position for black at all. Very, very goofy choice. But I'm surprised that uh, the dude is taking his time. He's not playing g5. So what is he considering? Knight g5 or what? Eddie, it was Arena and me got like 685 crowns on h4. Which I guess you didn't go over in your uh, studies with Kadir. <sighs> wow, that's a very interesting position. But still g5 is most likely to be played. I don't know what he's thinking about. I mean, this is this is... No brainer. Just go win the game. Oh, finally it's played. All right, yeah. and yeah. Uh, oh, no, now I got to catch this guy. All right. Well, then I got to go 100 crowns. Bishop e5 really looks goofy to me. Okay, so now the choice is bishop uh, bishop to e7, but it's very yes, possible. I got it right. Yeah, Dr. Amin was no way going to go to E5, even if it is the best move. Now, what does Gadir know about Rui Lopez? I think a lot. F4 needs to be played, so we know what's happening here, boys and girls. Okay, we are expecting knight H2, preparing F4 and yep. revolver on the king side. Yep. I think Gadir has seen this before. Oh my god, this is a crush. The crusher from Russia. Or actually from Baku. So this looks like Baku. No, no! no! Oh my god. Oh goodness. my god, look at Not Nala. A star. She didn't tell me. Oh my god. She didn't Why tell me either. Good dear, oh. you're worrying about Knight C4 when you're killing the guy? Really? Oh. Really? Oh my god. Really, good dear? I don't know really what's happening here. Oh my god. Oh, at least not Holy done. mother of god. Well, is F6 a goofy move here? No, I got it right. Bishop F8. Very good. Yuri Soldonchenko, Michael Hofer won 290 crowns, and Marcelo won 73, and Evgeny Miller as well. 73 crowns. Seriously, Seriously, Gadir, is an H2 still work? Is he going to do it now, maybe? Ah, oh, jeez. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. What else? What yeah, you... I know. Rook C1? That's kind of weird. Okay. All right. Let's have faith in our boy. Why, why do you need Rook C1? What for? That's what Stockfish said. <laughs> it's an open file. You know, there's action going on at C4. I guess it makes sense. Um, what are you doing, Gadir? Oh, Orkin. look at this. Orkin, Orkin had that. Michael, Michael Barone. Barone. Nice. 
553 crowns each. Oh my God. Fantastic. Really, Gadir. Gadir, you, you're supposed to rush the F pawn, and he's put everything in front of the F pawn. Wow. Well, Rook C8, Rook C8, everyone's talking about Rook C8, except Stockfish. <laughs> Stockfish is quiet about that. Yeah. Uh, so what is about uh, what knight b six possibly? Yeah, he could C4. do that, but I doubt it. He could even maybe do c four. But um, guys like Yuri and me have been playing what ninety five. Oh, or oh, then Yuri okay. had that. Okay, Yuri. Okay. Okay. They're smarter Fantastic. than me and the Rui Lopez. Then. They're twenty five each. That's Good job, awesome. guys. Those are the Rui Lopez experts in the crowd for sure. Wow. Well. Now what you're gonna do, Gadir? You could have played a perfectly good briar line. Now you got this position you don't know and you don't know what to do. And Dr. Amin's in the game, maybe. Uh, knight H2 now? Really? Oh, he's, he's avoiding knight H2 He ain't now. gonna do it, he would have done it already. Maybe it's time to play knight H2 now. Yeah, he's going knight F1. Or A4 maybe. Typical Rui Lopez moves, but Orkin and Yuri were the ones that would know for sure. Oh my god, these guys are tough. Yeah, me too, Eddie. We're going to have to have a talk with our boy why he didn't play Knight H2. That's a very normal Rui Lopez move. What will happen that you started to... If you will start to choose other moves, and finally he will lose. He will play sooner or later Knight H2. So you might as well keep... keep he's going to play knight h2 with the d-knight. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. He's going to move the other knight to h2 and not get an f4. Ever. Aha! Yes! Yes! Yes, Coach Mike is right. Good. Ha ha. Ha ha. All right, Solo. Solo and Orky. It's going to be... It's war. Ha. 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 Knight b7 is a terrible move. Uh, c4. Eh. Eh. Queen d7 looks tempting. That looks like a Dr. Amin move. Yeah. And I'm 400 crowns behind. I got Orkin right behind me. I got Novice Star and, oh, geez. All right. And Arena. Oh, this is dangerous. Queen d2. Queen d2 just looks like a, like, look at all those squares. Oh. I mean, Queen d7. Yeah, I, I I'm still speaking in descriptive uh, notation instead of algebraic. All right, now where's Gadir going to go with that knight that he's maneuvering? Uh, maybe e3 or h2. That would, knight, knight 3, h2, not happening. Uh, yeah. All right, my boy Gadir will go. Knight e3. Well, are we waiting still for knight uh, 3 to h2, or we gave up on that? Uh, that's a blind spot in Gadir's. Uh, it's a bad spot in the disk drive. He's not going to play it. He would have done it already when it made more sense. Well, knight g3, yes, Orkan is right. Knight g3 is very, very logical move. Oh, really, Orkin? All right, then. Hector, really, Hector? He's not going back. Really? Hector, really? Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> All right, so is Orky right with knight g3, or am I right with uh, knight e3? Yeah, Orkin, that looks like danger city there, danger zone. <laughs> Fly into the danger zone. Dude, you need to tighten up for your match coming up. I, I expect you to win your match on chess stars coming up, baby. Well, he has a serious opponent. Um... <laughs> oh, Rooney left. Uh, maybe you had a connection problem. Oh, really? Oh, well, look at that. Really? He got 737 crowns. And Massillon and Victor Maga and Marty Hirsch won 184 crowns each. Yeah, well done. Him. Yeah, good wow. for them. You just gave Gadir a pass pawn, and that's why Gadir did that. Yeah, I guess. Oh, maybe the bishop's going to move now. And maybe it's going to d2. 
Maybe, just yeah. maybe. Tempo. Tempest Fuji, hit that, hit that knight on the rim. Tell him he's in a bad spot. <coughs> and knight b7 is just a move when you see it played in Rui Lopez. Uh, black rarely wins. And they have to resort to that move, so I don't think he's going to move the knight to b7. He'll play queen c7 or b4 maybe. b4 looks kind of weird, though. I don't know, man. I guess, wait, knight b7 makes sense to stop the d-pawn. All right, all right, I'm sold. No, no, b7 is okay because then you maneuver to g6. Yeah, normally d6 isn't available. So in this case, I guess uh, knight b7 is okay. And Ishmael, I'm coming for you, baby. If Yuri and Orkin don't eat me first. And Nava, oh my God, and Matsi, and Arena, and the very gentle and wonderful Michael Barone. This guy is just too nice, I think. He's obviously very talented in the contest, but maybe he lacks the killer instinct. He's always a nice guy. Okay, how is it doing on time? Dr. Amin has 18 and a half minutes left, and Gajir Hussein has 16 minutes. Okay. Who would you rather be here, my friend? White or black? Well, we're expecting 97 still. I believe it's uh, preferable to... Because 95 is not doing really much. <coughs> it's supposed to be... Yeah, but if you maneuver knight b7, knight d6, and then you can still play c4. So, is white still going to get enough four break in? I wonder. Well, it needs to do it sooner or later. What else? Jesus Garcia is in love with Orkin. Hmm. We'll <laughs> <laughs> see him in action next weekend. Yeah, yeah. You'll hate him. You'll hate him if he makes the wrong moves. <laughs> His opponent will be, um, by the way, Guillermo Dominguez, who's done lately quite well in uh, chess stars events, tournaments, master challenges. So we'll see. Well, <laughs> Good reply, Erky. <laughs> well, Orca, maybe someday you'll change your mind so Jesus is available. You know, he just broke Jesus's heart, man. You didn't even let him down easily. <laughs> so what, are we waiting for night B7 or what? Yeah. But man. it's not happening. Well, what is she considering then? If not knight b7, then queen c7 or queen d8. Right. Yeah, queen d8 is oh. goofy. You could play b4 yeah. too. But yeah, maybe queen c7. But that takes. Ah, there we go. Oh, finally, it was played. Okay. So, what are we looking now at? Yeah, good question. Maybe knight g3, like Erkin said. Maybe knight e3. Maybe queen f3. Maybe king g2. King g2. What does king g2 do? Uh, this allows uh, Queen H3, possibly. Oh, yeah. Good point. Good point. Yeah, it might be the best yeah, move, then. Yeah, but Queen F3 does the same thing. Yeah, but then you never get to play F4, but I don't know if he's... He's probably never going to play F4 anyway. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, you know what there is an idea? Maybe Queen F3 and then Queen H3 to exchange Queens because White has better endgame. Agreed. Agreed. No, not G6 probably solves all Black's problems. Not all, sorry. Some problems. Ah, King G2. Hey, finally it was played. That's a good deer move, though. I almost went with it. I don't like it myself. But Kadir likes those funny maneuvers with his king. All right, well, Bassam will clearly uh, not do what Stockfish says. He will play the Ninzovician move. Restrain, blockade, and destroy. Although there's no way to destroy. Knight yeah. d6. 
96 looks very natural here. Yeah. Yes. F6, I don't know, I don't like for some reason to move F6. Why do you open files? Yeah, hmm. yeah. That's a French move in a Ruy Lopez position. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work together well. No. So the first thing, oh, look, AC8 is another choice. Yeah, well, I thought he was going to do that earlier, and he didn't, so. Knight D6 looks like the safe move to me, but Stockfish is... No, no. Was, oh, now F6 is the first hint? Really? Uh -huh. hmm, very interesting. I still think C4 is okay move, because you, you are opening C5 for bishop or for a knight. Oh, wow, I didn't think of that, because I thought C4 is stronger with the knight on D6, but you're right, that blocks the bishop. Yeah, well, unless uh, something is bad about this c4 move. Well, if that's the case, knight d6 is natural move. But f6 looks now it's first and second hand. No, first hand is still c4. Well, in the meantime, Dr. Amin is running definitely down on time. It's now it has less than 15 minutes left. Left. So they're equal in time. In the meantime, uh, Ismail Vidal is still in the lead, 2,676 crowns. With a zillion cotton gains. Started in one move. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Michael Hofer worked very, very hard on his moves. He has uh, 2,286 crowns, followed by Orkan. What? Okay. Oh, holy Russia. Hawkeye. Slavkovich is a big winner, 961 crowns, yeah. and Tom's 240, Mate, Jesus Mate. Garcia, same, and Guillermo Dominguez, 48 crowns. That's a good choice. Good choice Next by those guys. Against uh, Orkan Abdullah. That's going to be very, very tough, very interesting match, by the way. Well, Orkan gave us the next move, because uh, his king g2 stopped the queen h3, so uh, Gadir is going to play... Knight G3, everyone. Hate to be the one to tell you that. Yes, it's done. And then, will Dr. Mean play okay. Knight D6 or C4? Knight D6 or C4? He ain't playing F6. Knight D6 or C4? Will Amin pull the trigger? Hmm. Stay tuned. Should he pull the trigger? Hmm. Oh, 96 is still possible, so now it's bishop d6 suggested. Oh, hell no. No, c4 is still. <laughs> Hopefully, it will, will be played, but All right. I don't know. Yeah, that seems to be the most uh, flexible. Actually, it's committal, but it's flexible for his pieces, so I, I think he will play c4 instead of knight d6. And he did. Okay, finally it was played. Now, Gadir can take on h5. Why? Really? Why not? Yeah, why not? Exactly. Go, go, Baku. Uh, what do you think about uh, B4? It's not the your style. Especially when pawn on H5 is available. Oh God, B4? No. 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 Boom! Okay. Finally, it's done. So what black is to play? Good question. I don't know if Amin considered all this. Wow. Yeah, look for a deep think here. Watch him move right away. Uh, he's got to do something with Sipon, doesn't he? Okay, so uh, there are basically two hints. One is C3 and one uh, C takes to B3. Wow. Or Bishop C5. Wow, 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 Yes. Well, you see, this is what um, deficiencies of move H5 is. That this pawn was unprotected, and it was clear that sooner or later, white will just pick it up. What was that question mark mean there, Orkin? That's the move I put in. <laughs> 
So Bishop takes Bishop's h5 not. is not happening. The whole reason no. I went with Bishop c5 is I don't know if he's going to take on b3 or play c3. So I thought, well, you know, as long as it's a 50-50, let me go for the whole pool. <laughs> Good decision, if Maybe. you're right. We'll find out. <laughs> yeah, it's going to happen real soon. So what's happening now? C3, do you think, will play? What about knight d6? Do you like that move? No, no, no. It blocks the bishop. He's got to get active. He's got to get some sort of counterplay going here because he's getting killed. And he took eight winners. Yep. Good for all of you. Good for all of you. Yes, that's exactly and what happened. I know what good deer will do. <laughs> so yes. Everyone else. Go for it. And now knight c5 is coming to a theater in your neighborhood. Yeah, well, yeah, right? Yeah, knight c5, of course. Bishop e7? No. Uh, no. Stockfish is crazy. Stockfish says uh, black's busted, really. Well, I guess giving up that h-pawn was uh, kind of goofy. Yeah, you guys have got all those crowns on rook c8. Yeah. Slavko. Slavko is still in the hunt here. Where's the star family? Oh, wow. Well, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Stockfish does not understand at all. Right, Orkin? Amen. Yes, we got the Stockfish who doesn't understand this position. But that's what we got. What's wrong with Knight C5? Am I blind? Maybe. I guess maybe it doesn't do anything because Gadir just moves the bishop back to c2 and then what does black do? I don't know. I don't know. Well, black screwed this up. Both sides screwed it up. <sighs> what, Gadir. What is the move for a5? Oh, a5? <laughs> well... And that's too slow, because you can make the bishop go to c2 in one tempo with knight c5. And then if you do rush to a4, you get a backward b pawn on an open file. So that's it's terrible, Sasha. I oh, to tell you that. Yeah, that's a bad idea. No, but I'm, I'm, you know, I, I think that regardless what black will play, white's position is much better. So just... I had Gildardo Garcia do that against me, and it was a very easy win. I mean, he, he did all kinds of weird things in that game. He rushed his A pawn, then he went and disconnected his rooks with queen c8 and put his knight in the room with knight a5. And it's just too many tempos. You can't do that. Orkin says knight d6. I say knight c5. Oh, knight d6 to c4. Yeah, Orkin's right. Ah, Guillermo Dominguez agrees with me, though. Wow. Knight c5. Well, 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 this is interesting. I like knight c5 because it wasn't on the, the stockfish list. I like 96 more. Yeah, well, well you guys aren't going to win anything. Well, but, but look at this. Ork and Abdullah suggest 96, and Guillermo Dominguez 95. They will play next week, and they will find out who, whose predictions are better. <laughs> yes, yes, that will be very exciting. Well, as you see, they disagree even in uh, analysis, even in predictions. Aren't both they these guys trying to get a GM norm? You get of GM norms on chess stars? Maybe. Well, one day we will have it for sure. <laughs> In the meantime, um, uh, uh, Orkan Abdullah is going to go for GM norm. I think he, he, he can get that. Yeah, I, I definitely know Orkan will become a GM. There's no doubt in my mind. Um, Absolutely. But, you know, this is great preparation for these guys, which is why Alex Linderman uh, decided to come here and then not follow the rules. Ah. <sighs> uh, Yes, too bad, too bad. And it's not the uh, first time it happened to him. It's, yeah. uh, it's been a history of yeah, I, I, I hate it when guys come on here and play too fast and they have no respect for the competition, which the competition is more important than what the grandmasters are doing because we're doing something that no one else in the world is doing. 
But guys like Orkin and Dr. Amin and Gadir, they respect that. So I appreciate that. And Yuri, Solo, Dove, the Chenko. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Yuri Solo Chenko is also one of the best uh, yes. you know, players in contests, as you know. Yeah, I know. Yes, I have found this out many times. Both those guys, Orki and Yuri. And Mazda. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, Arena. Yeah. Wow. Well, the Jiru Spinner sometimes is good by predicting moves too. Like he won many contests. Yeah. Previously. Yep. All right, good way to lose, uh, Basam. How are you going to just blow time like that? Against uh, the Smoke and Mirrors Coffee House Blitz player Gadir Husseinov. <laughs> Gadir will kill you on the clock. You can't get that far behind this guy. Yes, Gadir is. <laughs> he's a lightning speed and he's merciless. Yeah, uh, he. I, I, I can't resist calling him Gadir a Coffee House player. It's he's beaten me so many times when I've been up like a rook, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Look, the first hint now is bishop h h5. Why? Why would you take knight on h5? It's, it's not the most dangerous piece at the moment. Now, bishop h7 is another strange move by Stockfish. Yes, look at that. What? A5 was played. And oh, uh, Igor Klamov and uh, myself, we won each. Really? Nine really? <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah, it is. I put 100 crowns and uh, immediately regretted it, but uh, it worked out. Hey. Slow and steady. Slow and steady terrible, loses. Terrible move, I must say. Well, White's game plays what? itself. Knight g3, h5, say goodnight. Turn out the yeah, lights. Yeah, agree. The party's over. They say that all good things must end. Yep. Let's waste tumpos on the queen side while we're getting killed on the king side. I don't know. What do I know? Sasha's well. star. <laughs> Remember, I told you about a5. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. No, wow. it doesn't Igor win. Igor as well. Igor McClellan also put 100 crowns on, on this move a5. Yeah, Igor is very dangerous in his contest, though. Yes, he's doing well. Especially when it's Yuri Solo, Dovnachenko. He seems to know Yuri's style very well. Yuri's moves are very difficult to predict, by the way. Really? Yeah, I think so. And also Orkham's, Abdullah's moves are difficult. Oh, Abdullah, yeah, that guy. Eminem. The Eminem of Baku with his hoodie. <laughs> F3 was played. Stop won 1290 crowns. And Orca that's, that's a good and, move. Uh, 323. I guess that's a good move. Well, very well done. So he played A5 to play A4, right? Not Knight D6? Of course he did. Dude, really? Oh my god. I just. What? Slavko jumped into the lead. Wow. A major lead. Slavko is the man. Wow. Absolutely. Wow. All right. Well, now, oh, you know what? With the queen move, now Gadir has bishop d1, which he didn't have before. So, bravo, Gadir. You did come up with a good idea here. It's better than knight g3. And he's still got the nine h5. Yeah, Gadir did this right. Knight, queen f3 exclammy from Miami. Well, actually, Tampa. <laughs> Temporarily. Yeah, Gadir has this totally under control. All right. Now, what does Dr. Amin have up his sleeve? He hasn't played Knight G6 for 100 years. Um, 
Oh, it's done it now. Does now, and I didn't even put anything on it. Wow, good job, Mike. Everybody had that, though. And now, now, pull the trigger, cock the shotgun, bring the knight back to G3, and win the game, Gadir. I'll be surprised to see any other move. Me too. But he, it was a deep thought of him playing queen f3 and getting the bishop to d1. I like that little finesse there. I don't see any more finesses, though. Look at second hint is bishop a5. Yeah, hitting nothing. <laughs> Why would anybody say? Owning all the vacant squares on the queen side. <laughs> okay, everybody was expecting that right. g3. Well, that means that's how to drop back in the pocket. Quarterback uh, being chased by uh, many defensive linemen. They're coming to what? 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 You're oh, look him? at this! You're ignoring the dude saying that. You can't you ignore him. Even here, Michael Barra and Blas Kosmach, each won 260 crowns. Well done. Oh, 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 oh! Yes, yes! I love this move. Gadir is not playing Bishop C1. Yadir will play bishop b4 and get rid of the dark squared bishop and then just totally demolish the king side. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. Bishop c3? No. Why? For the e-pawn? No. Ah, oh, look at all these people smarter than me. You know, it's hard to win this contest. It is. It's hard because you have to be... Uh, concentrated 100% of the time. Boom! And look at this. Bishop before was actually played. And now we're expecting... <laughs> God only knows. This is the Wheel of Fortune move that could win the contest, actually. I mean, trading is just helps the Rook uh, attack B5. I told you that B5 pawn was going to be dead. It's like a whole smorgasbord for Gadir here to choose from. So, what does Black do? Resign. Right now? No, well, he's not going to, and I wouldn't want him to, but, geez, this is a, he's, he's busted. I guess, all right. All right. Well, there is not immediate uh, threat of checkmate or anything. The game going on, but, of course, White is so much better. Um, I guess he should try and double rooks. I don't know. Maybe bishop h7 that I put in the previous move. Why do I forget about moves from move to move? Yeah, what is bishop h7 for? What well, just to it? stop h5 from being as strong as it's going to be when it comes. That's what they always do when, you, when you're playing a really low pass. I learned this type of attack from Boris Kogan. And whenever I use this, they always drop the bishop back to h7. Just as a yeah, typical it, defensive it, it, move that doesn't work. <laughs> well, if you don't have anything better than that, you might as well play. Yeah, yeah. So Rook C7 doubling Rooks is the only activity move. And the Rook C7 might actually help defense, maybe. If he ever got an F6. If, well, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't have enough moves here. Gadir won't mess this up. I've said that before. Well, and <laughs> also we play uh, bishop takes before, rook takes before, and back uh, 96, and you find that. He, he just makes b5 even weaker by doing that. Oh, oh well, well. Knight on g6 will defend it, but, but b5 is doomed anyway. It's a result of my move a5. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that, that's the main line in the Rui Lopez that is frequently chosen by the great Gildardo Garcia. And it just seems to me to be easy to play against by playing a3 and b4. And fixing that b-pawn forever and ever is backward. And they usually take on Passant, and then you just get to bang on the b-pawn until it bleeds. So Gadir's got the choice of that orc going for an attack on the king side here. I'm more about uh, Dr. Amin's time. It's slightly over four minutes and going down. That would be the humane way to lose. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, and his position is not uh, becoming any better. Uh, yeah. Then you can always blame your loss on time. Ah! <laughs> oh, look, Bishop C5 and Hector is a big winner. 
1,424 grams and Blas Horsmash picked up 356 grams. Oh wow, I didn't expect it. Ah, ah. Well, do you go h5? Do you rip the bishop? Hmm. Hmm. I kind of like getting rid of the dark. But he's already gone. But. No, there is also queen g4. But right, I don't think that the general play. Uh, I don't think. He, he thinks. Look, the deer has a very good position. Yeah. He has extra time. Why would he exchange queens? Yes, if H5, of course, yeah, that should be played. Okay, let's start with that move. That wind you pour actually makes a lot of sense. Wow, look at the uh, leaders, it's very close. Ah. 8-6, really? Oh, Yuri, bravo. 8-6. Yuri Solodovnichenka, yeah. 1,375 crowns. H6, that's quite unexpected. Wow, yeah, good job, that's Yuri. Good. Bravo, Yuri. Maybe it's not a very good move, but definitely work for a Yuri. This is just so hard. And then you got guys like Yuri coming up with H6 like it's the natural move. Wow. I, I, th I saw that Queen G4 was a very good move now. Anyway, so what that? I think he's going to play queen e7. Queen e7, yeah. Yeah. Consistent. Yeah. With bishop c5. Yeah. I'm sure Yuri's got 100 crowns on it so that nobody can catch him now. <laughs> now, very interesting situation in the lead. Slavka Popovic is still in the first place, 2769 crowns. And Yuri Sordovnichenko is very close second, 2658. And Ismail Vidal, all known to 2631. And um, Orkhan Abdullah is in fourth, 2290. And Michael Hofer is behind, 1867, followed by Hector Reyes and others. So, when you said it was played... Yeah, all that hard work and Hector's right behind me. It's like, really? What is all the hard work for, then? <laughs> well, <laughs> it happens. Unfortunately, it happens. Now, is he going to take that bishop, or is he going to take it g7? I don't know what Gadir is doing anymore. I guess he's going to take it g7. Right? Yeah, it's consistent. Yeah. This moves uh, like um, h6. If you play h6, you might as well take on g7. Yeah. I mean, I put in bishop takes c5 a bunch of times already, so. Well, sooner or later it must happen. Yeah. Bishop, bishops will be exchanged. It's just a matter of who is going to take first, the white or the black. Well, it doesn't make a sense for doesn't make any sense for a mean to do it. I don't think. It is a third hint. It's rook h one. Oh my God! He is going to take the bishop here. He's going to take the bishop. Yeah, I just made a mistake. I wish I'd take back. You don't like... Uh, well, on h takes g7, he's going to play queen takes g5, and uh, queen g4, queen takes g7. That's still great for white, but... Uh, yeah, but helps uh, black to... Yeah, why, so why let him have the pawn? So, yeah, Gadir's going to probably take on c5. I hope he takes on g7. 
Yeah, everyone, put your crowns on. Bishop takes c5. Please. Yeah, this is the most natural move. Each one is interesting. That could win the whole pool. Actually, that's a consistent move, too. Yeah. Yeah, I talked about an attack like this with Yuri uh, before he did his Rui Lopez uh, uh, lecture. I told him that the great Boris Kogan, I asked Boris, what do you do when you have no idea, uh, no plan into Rui Lopez? And he told me to, you know, go for a Benoni jump, play, uh, push the G pawn, and uh, try to get the double rooks on the G file or get in the rook H1 thing, which looks like it's going to come eventually. Yes. And Yuri said that was a good idea. Great advice. Yeah, well, Boris was he created many Soviet and American champions. Stuart Rachels, Adrian Mikulshishin. Time. Well, he's got the luxury of having plenty of it. Yeah, because seven, more than seven and a half minutes. Okay, finally. Happened. Yeah, I, I knew it. Yeah, well, it takes, right? Da 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 da! Oh, now we see why he has done all this. No, no. Queen is going to h5. Yes. Very good move. Alright, everyone jump on Queen g4. Because <laughs> it's Queen h5. This is like a checkmate problem, man. White starts and win, yeah? Yeah. Ah! Oh my god! Wow, 11 winners! Oh, Look geez. at that. Good dear, really? Yeah. Well, box move for black. Like it helps, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, this is horrible, man. He's got to actually walk right into this uh, disco. No, and he didn't do it, which we've seen him oh, play like this six. before. I forget who it was against. Maybe it was Yuri. Oh, winners. Wow. And he's saying, okay, you dear, do you know how to break in now? Hmm. Well. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. So the first two hints are bishop e2 and rook b4. Wow. And rook h1 is the third hint. Rook h1 hardly does anything. Yeah, bishop b2 is very natural. I move. think that was a good choice by Bassam because the other move just made White's choices too easy. Even though this this loses, I think it was a good practical choice. All right, make these. Yeah, just man, it just lost a little bit longer. Well, it's possible White could do what? Whoa! Who had that? Nobody. No winners! Look at that! Wow! Oh, alright. Bassem maybe is uh, falling into the pressure of the clock now. And Gadir will say, hey, you want to trade, buddy? I am more than happy to trade. Actually, knight h3 is a very good move. It protects pawn on b5. <laughs> okay. You're still trying to defend your a4 rush. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's defend B5. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how uh, White breaks in here. He's got to get the knight in somehow, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, uh, the bishop on H7 looks on its I mean, Jesus. You got the guy pinned in on the king side. You got a pass pawn on D5. 
and you got a backward punt on oh, five and Jadis said, I'm going to keep going after that backward punt. Oh, not again. Orkin or and, and Nava. Nava. Each for 957 crowns. Why, why wouldn't oh. you tell me about that? Uh, I, and um, now Amin is playing very quickly. So. And Matt Byron is a big winner, 196 crowns. What is your and playing, Gadir? Awesome. You have a playing, you Gadir? Some crowns. So what to do now? Yeah, I don't know, man. I really don't know. What's wrong with Rook G1 trying to push the pawn? All right, I, I'm done with you. You convinced me. And again, I'm listening to you. Wow, that always goes badly for me. I think you're right this time, though. Well, it's the first line. Uh, uh, Abdullah says knight f1. Yeah, sure, possibly, no. Essentially, white plays now this extra piece because of bishop on h7. It's uh, <laughs> out of the yeah. quite a while. Yeah. What the heck? Just take oh, it. Oh, look at that. No winners. Just take it. Just take it. Don't break it. Well, way to screw up, Gadir. Wow. Gadir has all the time in the world. Wow. Really, Gadir? Wow. Wow. Wow and wow. Well, then. May I hope he hasn't screwed up. According to Stockfish, we need to. And that's a box move, too, isn't it? Yeah. I won 285 crowns on Rick V8. That's ridiculous. I guess people didn't get down. 11 winners, though. Wow. Wow. I'm confused. Oh. Well, he gave up the light squared bishop because really, I mean, kind of doesn't have one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here comes Orkey's knight f1. No, he's going to play queen e2. I think. Well, the first hint is knight f1, by the way. Yeah. Brought to you by the exterminator and stockfish. But queen e2 is the move. I think. Maybe not. <laughs> Queen F3 is also the move, really. Queen F3, it's hard to imagine that. I don't know, I've lost the thread here, and I think so is Gadir. Yes. Orkin's in the lead! Oh my goodness. How did you do that, Orkin? I didn't even see that. <laughs> you have to watch it on the scoreboard. Actually, he's in first place, Lachka Popovich is in second. Yuri Slodomchuk is in third, Ismail Vidal fourth, Hector in fifth, Michael sixth, Navastar is seventh, and Blas Kosmach is eighth. That's I'd like to score. see Nava win. Nava's in the hunt this late. That's good. Keep building on that, Nava. You might be better than Sasha. But you see, the problem is that she doesn't tell me her moves, and some, some of her moves winning a lot of crowns. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <sighs> this is just weird. I talked to her about it, and she told me that she ignores the kings. She doesn't even look at them. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that's very believable. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm usually suspect to the first and second hints. Yes, we are prisoners of stockfish. <laughs> <laughs> well... Yeah, looks like you're right that Jira's lost his thread. Okay, so queen e2. Now it's about to take the bishop, eh? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, it which way? matter which rook he takes with. Uh, you know what? Oh, God, I chickened out. Really? Yeah. I couldn't decide which rook. I, my, my first thought was the uh, B rook, but I was thinking maybe taking with the C rook would win a pool, but not if he doesn't play it, so. Obviously <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't. Often do you see a guy double his rooks on the fifth rank like that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got that one wrong. Well, let's get that knight off the rim. Yeah. And also have a chance to play knight d4. And now, now rook b1.
आपसे Very interesting position. Black has an extra piece, but fighting for survival. Yeah, that's a really weird thing for Gadir to do. <clears throat> yeah. All of a sudden, he had an extra piece in winning position, and he somewhat complicated uh, his task. Yeah, my self-esteem is going down the drain. I have a lead like what I had, and it happens every week, and these guys orking and Yuri just laugh at me. Oh, now Victor Maga, Marian Todorache, and Lars Kosma. She's each won 425 crowns. Nice. Well, that was a mistake. Yeah. You just let him in. I think Chuck is funny. Do me a favor, open the door, and let him in. Oh, no winner. What? Kadir, what are you doing? Hey. That's really amazing. What? What to do? What is going on? Why wouldn't he? I, well, Mamino will back up now. Yeah, it's too late. Oh, Queen A6. It's Kadir. Yeah. Kadir, you had such a big lead, man. You got all the. Well, no, he doesn't have all the time in the world. Wow. Well, he still has almost extra minute left. But the position is uh, actually far from being one-sided as it was before. Obviously, it's not. Uh, why he didn't play Rook B8 check, I'll never know. I mean, yeah, seriously, Rook B8 check, just, doesn't that just win? Wow, look at this. Ismail Vidal, Jesus Garcia, and Blas Kosmich, each won 518 Rook rounds. Rook A6, something is wrong with Kadir today. This is not our usual Gadir. Something's bothering this guy. And now Igor Vapanov is a big winner, 380 crowns, and Evgeny Miller, 95 crowns. Maybe crowns. Gadir is thinking about his trip tomorrow. Oh, yes, you're right. Because his yeah. mind is not on this game. Wow. Yeah. Dude. Thinking about Marseille. <sighs> okay, that was played. And All right, now here comes the French move. Kadir <laughs> is going to France, and I mean, we'll play the French move here. F6. And say bon voyage. <laughs> you might play King F8, though. No, he's going to play F6. F6 is actually a good move. Amazing. Yeah, it's a good move. It's forcing uh, opening a file into... Uh, oh, F5! And look at this. Yeah, the I game. wondered about that. And all crowns, 678 crowns each. Well, this guy's got some, oh, this guy's got some cojones. He's got some uh, They each put 25 crowns, and the Orca now regrets. You know, and it really kind of doesn't matter, because either way, Goodyear was going to rip that, wasn't he? Or was he? Wait a minute. F6. Mm. Now, what to do? You know what? The, the deer may even lose this game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just lost my mind. Well, yeah. So do you think uh, G takes to F5 you will play? Yes. yes. I'm not even on the board. Wow. Nava. Igor. Everyone else. Uh. Rook A7 is uh, definitely will be played. Yes, it was played. Fork you, buddy. F4. Yeah. Hard to resist. You open up finally your bishop, and you are attacking queen and the knight. Come on, 
Come on, bus. Um, there's nothing to think about here. You're running out of time. Push the pawn. Yeah, I, I really don't see what else you'd like to play here. It saves the day, too. <clears throat> and he doesn't play. Oh, it. Rook to seven oh, was holy, that. holy, holy, wow. Well, Gadir just won. Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How do you miss a fork like that? Mm, Got the queens off the board and everything. Now, now it should be uh, total carnage indeed. Gadir, what are you doing, dude? There you go. <laughs> and then okay. queen takes e5. Just wins yeah. the game. And then the fork is just gone. As is the position. And I don't want to, I really don't have a lot of comments to make about this game afterwards. We'll let a good deer account for it. Wow. Wow. Well, a blood steel has been able to turn out an extra gear, but why definitely has a, a great play. Yeah, that thorn uh, pawn at h6 is a little problem there. That's what Ron Henley calls it. He calls it a thorn pawn. No, it's like it's a good player. Stupid move again. Yep. Look at this. Master Leon, Orkan, Yuri Slotonchika, and Igor Vaklamo. Each one 225 pounds. Yeah, good for them. Yeah, yeah, these guys start. really deserve to win the contest, though. They really do. Yeah, Bassem has had some really bad luck in our contest, man. Yes, yes, he definitely should perform better than that. So knight e2 is coming, probably. Yeah. Rules, that's true. It's very difficult to disagree with that. Yeah, you just, any guy that wears a hoodie, man, you know, like Bill Belichick, Eminem, they always rule. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's now? Uh, what to, what well, to play? When in trouble, you usually should flee. Hey, King H7. Dun, 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 You only have one shot, Orkin. One chance. Are you going to take it, or will Yuri Solodovnichenko come up with some crazy move? <laughs> So what other moves can we show knight king knight to e8 and bishop e8? Hmm. Oops, what were all those moves? Finally, uh, I put four, that in the last move. Orkan Abdullah wins. Booyah! Good job, Orki. Orki is the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Good job, Orkin. I put that in a move ago. Yeah. Good job, Orkin. Dude. <laughs> you come up with that. <laughs> and then he doesn't take it. What? 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 F3 was played. Look Why at would that. you take that? Because Gadir, that's the way Gadir plays on the clock. He makes you use your Look, time. Look, post me. This is that novel was right about F3. Look at that. Knight c4, fabulous move. No, he's not going to do that. The screen b8 coming or what? Oh no. my god, I almost put in queen takes f4. And I thought you were going to give up the uh, king pawn. Well. In the meantime, Igor Vaklamov and Slavka Popovich won each 611 crowns. Yeah, Fabulous. I almost put that in just to get the overlay, but I thought, no way is he going to cough up the D-pawn, but he does. I guess queen f6 is just too strong, huh? Watch him go queen b8 check. <laughs> queen f6 <laughs> looks like just a killer, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Now queen f7 box, and then he doesn't want to trade, so I guess he goes back to d4. Why did he... Dude, why did you trade the D-pawn for the F-pawn? 
Why, why didn't he just take the F-bar when he had night takes F-4? I don't know. Who am I to know? Orkin knows all this stuff, obviously. <laughs> wow. Well, could this come down to a blunder and time pressure? That would be hilarious. Look at this. Only a 34.34 edge for white. Wow, did you notice that uh, bishop on g6 became a strong piece? Yeah, that was a genius uh, <coughs> a genius thing to let happen. Oh, wow. So what's now? Queen to c7, maybe? Oh, king h7 was played, and Hector won big, and Igor Vaklamov, 322 crowns each, and Blas Kosmash, 81 crowns. Well, that f4 is the... Uh... Yeah, looks like that's coming. Yeah. Well, Basem's low on time. Gadir's low on time. Gadir. Dude, really? Knight of four is so natural here. What are you thinking about? He's thinking about the French Riviera, maybe. Finally, it was good. <laughs> oh, my God. I have no idea what these guys are going to do. Oh, I, yes, I do. He's going to play Bishop F5. After he loses on time. Come on, guys. Oh, Bishop B1. Yeah. Oh, Michael Barron from big. That's a good that choice. Good choice, huh? Michael. And, and actually a good move, too. Yeah. But after knight D5, it will be very difficult to find the right move. <laughs> Oh my god. <sighs> oh well. It's still lost for blood. Oh my Into god. Well, Queen E4 check. Yep. Yeah. Oh, to resist. And Almost then, and then G six. Oh my God! Gadir, can you win a one game with twenty seconds on your clock with delay? Can you do it? Can you do it, Gadir? Maybe not. Oh my goodness! But that Light wins six. too. That oh, wins wow. too. That still wins. King G six box. And now H seven. That's why he did that. Yeah. What else? And then Queen G7, nobody can catch Orkin. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was played. I don't know what to play here. Queen F8, possibly. Queen G7. Queen G7. Oh. We can't catch the guy. Orkin's laughing at us. Oh, King G7 was played. What the heck? Really? Well, go get your queen there. Before you run out of time, good ear. Hey, good ear! Oh my god, really? Well. Okay, I got this let's... one. I got this one. Oh, so does Stockfish. Yeah, Orkin's off the charts, all right. Dude, check him. He's got nine seconds left. Check him. Yes! And I get okay. nothing. Dad. So what's now? What now? What to do? Jeez, good question. Oh, jeez. Yeah, what do you do? I think it's about to something. Uh, yeah, there it is. Bishop d5. Really? I don't know. What would you do? Uh, Run out of time. That's what he does. Wow. Good job, Orkin. 
Yes, well, we have a big winner, Orkan Abdulov, and we have Slavka Popovich in second, Ismail Vidal third, Yuri Soldunchuk in fourth, and Michael Barron is fifth. Congratulations to all winners, Seekers in sixth, Nava seventh, and Plus Kosmich eighth. They really wow. deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's take a look at the game very quickly this uh, good year, if possible. Yeah, yeah, good year. Hi, everybody. That was quite a game. We'd like to get Gadir online to help discuss the game, but I'm not sure we can. So... Okay, see if uh, Dr. Amin is available. No. Oh, Gadir says thanks. I'll see you tomorrow. Wow. Really? Thanks. Right. Yeah. Oh. I might say the same thing after missing about six wins. Wow. That was a sloppy game by both guys. It was a really interesting game, pretty well played until uh, everybody seemed to lose the thread, except Orkin Abdullah. Yeah, yeah Black, Black was very close to equalize at one point when he got extra piece, but uh, they just start to play with a great strength after that. Alright, let's see, where did this thing start going downhill? Okay, yeah, I know where it started going downhill. Where are we? How do I do this? Oh, here we go. Right here. Now, we have the esteemed Orkin Abdullah and Yuri Solodovnichenko in the crowd. Please tell me what is wrong with Knight H2 and 8 F4. Doesn't that just win, guys? Knight H2. What is, what is I would assume Black would play Knight E5. Maybe. And then, well, actually, now you probably do want to play B3, I guess. But F4 is coming, and it just, isn't this a winning theme? So he had that. I moved 20. And let's see. Other points of the game where, uh, let's see, where did Black screw this up? Oh, yeah. We got down to that G6 move. That was interesting. But that, uh, oh, how do we get back? How do we get back to the game? We go back here. Uh, there we go. Yeah. No. What was Black's big mistake? Oh. 31, maybe? Let's see. Knight G3. Knight C4. Well, I guess Mr. Page 7 doesn't help much here either. Oh, oh, Gadir's here! Yay! Hey, Gadir, thank you. Okay, yeah, H6, yeah, exactly. H5 was a losing move. But then, um, yeah, Gadir, what'd you have for H6? Obviously G5, right? And then takes, takes. And the bishop has to go somewhere. No? Oh, bishop h5. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, uh, hold on, Dr. Amin is uh, available and he's coming for a call as well. What a good guy. Bishop h5. Oh, Gadir, you're right, you're right. This is, uh, yeah. All right, let's let that, oh, I've got to scroll this thing up so we can record this too. I'm looking at the moves. All right, Dr. Amin, please take over here. Hello, everyone. Hello. Basem, are you there? Yes, you're here. Yes, I'm here. I can hear you. Yeah, uh, oh. it looks like H5 was a, was a bad move. Uh, what if you had played H6 there? Yeah, I saw this variation with G5 and sacrificing the piece, but I wasn't so sure it's, it's enough because, yeah. If it's not enough, I'm almost losing because uh, if I have to take on g5 and open the, the h5, then I thought, okay, we're playing g2, rook h1, and it's very dangerous. And yeah, sacrificing the piece, I wasn't so sure about if it really works or not. So that's yeah. why I went for h5. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And at that point, you almost equalized after uh, Gadir sacrificed the piece. 
but uh, then he started to play very strong. Yeah, okay, I think bishop b5 wasn't the best move, but uh, I was in great time pressure, so I wasn't able to, pray, to play very precise moves. And my still, my bishop on h7 wasn't the best piece. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, Gadir, you should have checked instead of rook b6. Yeah, there were a bunch of moves missed in this game. It got pretty intense. Um, you don't want to get in time trouble against Gadir, Dr. Amin. This guy just is all... He's too yeah. tough. I know that, but the position was quite bad, so I have to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You actually uh, <laughs> did well to keep going as long as you did. Yeah. And I was a little bit surprised he didn't let you play your briar line. It's like everybody's afraid of you, man. I don't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, tomorrow you have second game, you have white pieces, and uh, we wish you good luck and uh, good uh, preparation and uh, have a good rest, and hopefully maybe you will be able to equalize uh, the score. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I, I, I really really love your game, Doctor. I mean, I love the way you play the Kings Indian attack. You've taken a mantle over for Fisher, and uh, good luck tomorrow. Maybe you can get it to Armageddon, and anything can happen. Yeah, I hope so. Thank you. Yes, Thank you very much. Yeah, and good luck, Kadir. Enjoy your trip to France. And Orkin, you're the man. <laughs> okay, Thanks, goodbye, everybody. And looking forward to tomorrow's second game. Yes, good sir. Tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good coming up. Thanks for tuning in. Good coming up. Thanks. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.